Hi everybody, I am going to do a video that I haven't done in a little while. Um, and I have a apprentice with me today, mm. my adorable daughter Emmy. Mm. And we are going to do a what I inked for the month of March. So this is my traveler's notebook that was gifted to me by my penefactor. Cicada shell, it's saying it's so utterly away. I absolutely love it and um, it is a chic sparrow and oh, I can't remember the, the it's cherry but I don't remember the actual name of it but it's really lovely super super I need to condition it because I I beat this thing up I use it all the time um, and inside here is my ink and pen log and when 2023 started, I started a new log. And um, if there's any interest, I'll go through my old log and kind of show you what's in there. I have a log of the pens that I have which I and the inks, which I need to update because I have sold some. And here we go for the month of March. So here is my list. And I will show you what I inked one at a time. And I apologize in advance if you see a cat tail. We have just been joined on the table by a cat. Yeah. yeah. So the very first pen that I inked up, and I do apologize too, is that I don't have my ink uh, swatch cards. Um, those were one of the, the things that got left behind when we packed up to come here. So I apologize for not being able to show you a swatch of the inks that I used. But this is my absolutely favorite, amazing, wonderful pen. It is my Pilot Custom 823 that was gifted to me by my penefactor. And there is not a month that goes by that I have not inked this up. And um, I always ink it up with... Uh, uh, usually I always ink it up with um, Ferris Wheel Press Peter Moss. This time I inked it up with Dye Mine Safari. So this was my first pen of the month. The second pen I inked up was this Hong Dian in Black Forest. Um, and I inked this up with Dye Mine Earl Grey. And this pen is actually going on the chopping block. I'm going to be selling this uh, very soon. So I'm going to be putting it on Mercari, but if you are interested, leave me a message below and we can work something out. Then my next pen that I inked up, which I have actually inked up again for the month of April, is my Twisby Saffron in a medium nib. And it has been inked up with Ferris Wheel Press Buttered Popcorn. And I wrote it dry and I inked it back up for this current month. So this is on my current month log list as well. I like buttered popcorn. You like buttered popcorn? Doesn't it look just like buttered popcorn? Do you see what, that's the color uh -huh. there. It does, it makes you hungry, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. The next pen I inked up was my Esterbrook Esty in Scarlet. I got this pen from Anna Moya where I worked. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. 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 No? I said, yeah. Oh, I thought you said, meh. <laughs> this pen is so lovely. This was the my very first Esterbrook SD. Well, the only other Esterbrook I have is a vintage Esterbrook J that I uh, got a long time ago, which still writes beautifully, but I don't ink it up often because it's so delicate that I don't want to break it. But I got this pen on uh when did I buy this but I'm looking uh on January 25th was my new pen day and I have inked it up and written it dry so many times refill after refill after refill um in the month of March I inked this and wrote it dry um three times so it has a really beautiful nib on it. Isn't that pretty too? Yeah, it has really beautiful scroll work on it. Very juicy medium nib. So I no, actually I only inked this up twice in the month of March on the 27th and on the 11th. 
or I inked it up on the 27th of February, which was a refill. And then I inked it up again on the 11th of March. So I've used this pen quite a bit since I've got it. I inked it up many, many times um, over, uh, over February. I just couldn't get enough of it. And January when I got it on the 25th. Um, so it's taking a break this month. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to take a break from it for the whole month. Um, but it, it kind of, it got washed out and put in my pen case because my rainforest came. So that was my fourth pen of the month. Oops, and it was going on a break, but you weren't. Yeah, exactly. She said my pen was going on a break, but I wasn't. You gotta speak up a little bit louder so they can hear you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next pen I inked up was my Lamy Studio in Black Forest with a fine nib. And I inked this up with Pilot Oroshizuku Konpeki. And so that was my fifth pen. Then I inked up my Gen Hao Century 100 in green marble. And I inked this up with Pilot Oroshizuku Shinryoku. And I don't care what anybody says, Gin House are great pens. Yeah, they make lots of clones and dupes, but they know how to make a good pen. I wish they would start becoming more, more creative with their pen designs though, but I understand why they make the clones and the dupes, and I appreciate that they do. Because it is pretty, they do very it very well. Pretty. It's very pretty, and it writes like a dream too. Aww. But this pen is also going on the chopping block. I'm selling it. Yeah, I am super, super, super paring down my collection and completely curating to what I love, like what I, I just absolutely adore. And I do really, really, really enjoy this pen, but I don't reach for it enough to say that I really love it. So the next pen is my Esterbrook SD in Rainforest, and I received this on March the 13th. It's got a beautiful medium nib on it with the Estabrook uh, Infinity there. This pen has been inked up since the 13th uh, repeatedly. It was inked up on the 13th. It was inked up on, I didn't have it written down, written down here, but the 18th, the 25th, and the 29th. So this is my fourth fill and I am still writing with this pen into now April. And um, so imagine that this pen in my group grouping of my pens that I've inked this month, imagine that this pen takes three slots. Yeah. So, so far, that's one, two, three, four pens, five, six, seven. Two of those pens I used multiple times. So imagine that they would take up extra slots. The next pen I inked up was my Lamy Safari in mint with a fine nib. I really like this nib because it actually writes like a medium. So that makes me happy. And I inked this up with a, it's right here, with a sample I had of Ferrisville Press Spruce County Post. And I really liked this combination. It was fun to write with. And this is a fun pen. I don't have like pastel pens. This is my only pastel pen. I don't know if you would consider my decimal a pastel pen. This one? Does that look pastel to you? Mm, no? It's sort of like a navy, a navy blue, but a little lighter. A little lighter? Yeah. yeah. All right, so this was inked up and wrote, dr written dry. Hello, baby. Hello, baby cat. Another baby came in. Another baby. Okay, so there's one pen here that's missing. Imagine here that there's a pen. And it's because I have sold this pen and it's already in the hands of its brand new owner. And that was my Caveco Sport and Macchiato with a fine nib. And I used Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. That, yep, that's right, that one. So then I inked up again my Esterbrook SD in Rainforest. And this time I inked it with Sailor Ink Studio 967. And so that is going to come over here. And I, I like Sailor Ink Studio 967, but I have another pen that I prefer to ink it up with. I actually really, really, really adore Kayo no Oto Kokiiro number three, which is Japanese for moss. I prefer that in this pen. 
above the 967 and I think that's going to be my ink just like Yamabuto in my Scarlet is my forever ink in that pen Kokiiro is my forever ink in this pen so moving on the oh that takes yeah I did my Lamy Safari and cream and then it was my Estabrook SD again and now Oh, and my Lamy Safari and Cream. Did I did I do this one? No, you didn't. I didn't. You just told me I didn't, and I was like, no, I didn't. My <laughs> Lamy Safari and Cream in a medium because nib. You, you saw like these. Yeah, and, and then I had to explain and then you put that that down. And you yeah. Like, and just imagine this pen, and then you do this, and I was like, oh yeah, this is this. Oh, okay. And then you put it back down. I did. Okay, so this one was my Lamy Safari and Cream that I inked with. J'ai Herbin Poisseur de Lune, which is French for moon dust, so I just call it moon dust. The next pen I inked up is my was my Pilot Decimo in light blue, and I did a video of this. I inked this up twice, and I did a video reviewing this pen, and um, the, the right here, yep. And I reviewed the combination with uh, Twisby Blue Black, which I call my Prussian Blue. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful subscriber friend reached out to me and offered to send me a bottle of Prussian Blue. And I thank her so very much, but if I have that bottle of Prussian Blue, then I won't use up the Twisby Blue Black. And so I don't want to have a bottle of ink that I'm not going to use and it's good enough for me I, I'm sure the the difference between Prussian blue and Twisby blue black I'm sure there's a big difference but when I tell myself in my mind that it's Prussian blue that makes me happy Do so I come? inked this up twice so this takes up two slots the next pen I inked up was my Twisby nope this one oh. my Twisby vac 700 R in iris in a medium nib and I inked this up with and wrote it dry with KWZ Discovery Green which is one of my favorite inks and this is a pretty pen yeah, very pretty yeah I like how when you move it it looks like the colors kind of kind of show differently like now it looks more purple now it looks more blue now it looks more purple and there's some green and yellow at the top isn't that great? It's like a chameleon. You and me are seeing different colors on its sides. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So that was that pen. Oh, We're coming to the pretty. end here. The you next pen I inked. This is the cotton candy pen. The next pen that I inked up was my Gin House Century 100 in, um, I think on Amazon they call it colors or something, but I call it, and Emmy calls it, my cotton candy pen. Because okay. it just looks like you want to eat it. I want to shove it in my face hole. You want to shove it? <laughs> it might not be conducive to uh, life to shove a pen in your face hole. So we inked this up, or I inked this up with Sailor Ink Studio 237. And I wrote it dry, but I didn't really enjoy this color combination. 237 is my only pink ink, and it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a pastel pink, but not like a super pastel. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like this, this color. Um... But I have found that I just didn't enjoy the combination. Sorry about that. Um, so that was my Gin House Century 100 in Cotton Candy, as Emmy, as, I, as Emmy and I like to call it. And my next one was my Caveco Sport in Smooth Sage with its medium nib. And I inked this baby up twice with Color Nostalgia Sierra Mist. And um, I don't know at this point if I have uploaded this video yet or not. I'm sure I probably by now have uploaded the video. But um, maybe I haven't. Maybe I'll upload this one first. I'm not oh. sure. But this uh, pen and ink combination gets its own video as well. The last pen I inked up for this month was my... Caveco All Sport in Gold, which was my birthday gift from, from my husband for my 38th birthday. 
very very pretty super shiny shiny and with a nice little gold clip even though it has a silver finial i just ignore that and i just think it looks super super precious with the gold clip that ink right there looks very similar to this but it's narwhal mango sorbet and i actually sold that sorry if you can hear that hear that that's a motorcycle outside um, but I inked this, <laughs> but it has a medium nib, and I inked this up with Diamine Ancient Copper. And I found that this medium nib is not as juicy as the medium nib in my uh, Smooth Sage. Not and juicy enough. Not 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 juicy enough. I know. I might have to do some work to this nib. Um, but this Caveco Sport, this Caveco Sport, and my Caveco Sport in brass are my last Cavecos. These are the last Cavecos standing. I have sold the other ones. So these are very, this is very special to me because it was a birthday gift. And this is very special to me because I just love it. And the brass one has such an amazing patina on it. And that's my next one to ink up for the month of April. Um, that was a gift to me from my benefactor. All right, so I'm gonna put all of my pens down here in order. Thank you, my love. We missed a couple. So please remember that some of these pens were used multiple times. Multiple. Multiple times. Multiple. And also uh, three of these pens had uh, a pretty large capacity on them ink capacity. So for the month of March 2023, uh, we're missing one pen, but these were the pens that I inked up, and these were the pens that I used and enjoyed in my journals, and that I am just really, really glad to have in my collection. These two pens, these three pens, I mean, will be leaving my collection and going off to new homes. The I know the, the, cotton, can, candy the cotton candy pen. I I don't know. Maybe I'll keep the cotton candy pen for Emmy. Mm. Should I keep this pen for you? Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll keep this pen for Emmy. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for all of your support. I appreciate every one of you. I wish you awesomeness and greatness and have a good day.